Hey, welcome to the Geeky Arts review of How to Train Your Dragon 2 hey. or 2 as you say in Spanish or Ube. Electric Boogaloo Electric Boogaloo I don't know, that's a movie I think I don't, <laughs> I don't even know what the hell that is Anyway, this is our review We went to Disney World to see it Downtown Disney at the AMC Drive-In Movie Theater First time ever in a dining theater and it was fun, it was different yeah, we, we big ate. Big couches, spacious, like, big, big couch seats. Yeah, and the, we ate pasta, so you could sit there and you're like eating and watching the movie. It was the first time doing it, like Chrissy said. It was mad fun. It was it fun. Was, it was, it was fun. cool. It was late too, but it was it was fun, late to eat. Yeah. So like that. It was interesting to see how just everybody was just ordering right in the middle of the movie. Yeah, and then they bring out the food, like, here's your food, which is because they had like a button and would ring the waiter. Yeah. It was cool. So anyways, we're going to be talking about the movie. It's going to be a spoiler review because this movie already came out, but we wanted to talk about it anyway, so sorry about that. If you're going to watch, cool. 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 Yeah. Anyways, um... I mean, if you hear us, don't go watch it. It's not the same. Yeah. Still watch it. I mean, I thought it was a really good movie. What do you thought? I thought it was. I, I thought it was good. I, I th yeah. I give it a really the, good. I give it a good because I thought the first one was really good. Yeah, I give it like a eight point five out of ten probably. Oh. Yeah, because the movie had problems. Like, you know, it was kind of slow in some places, and it, you know, um, the character of. What was her name? Astroid? Astrid. 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 Sorry. His girlfriend. His girlfriend. Um, um, she, who's played by America Ferrera, she was kind of like not in the sh the movie a lot. I know. She and had like a little cameo. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like a little I get it. Cause they don't like relationships in, in movies and stuff like that. You know, boyfriend, girlfriend kind of thing. But still, they should have at least gave her a little bit more to do. I mean, the character I liked the best was the crazy chick who was falling in love with all these guys and the main guy. Rough one Nut, of the Rough yeah. Nut, which is voiced by Kristen Wiig. Oh, really? Yes, that's like you so many that. like well-known yeah, actors that. who are voicing these really? characters. And I don't even think they bring that up in when they do the, the, um, the, the whole like... Yeah, I didn't know the Jonah Teasers Hill. Teasers or anything what? like that. Like, nobody's mentioned Jonah Hill is one of the characters. Snot? Snot? I can't even say his name. Say. Some of these are very, Some like, Some of these weird. character names are funny. And Gerard Butler, you can Probably tell. Viking. It's Gerard Butler. But, but yeah, the person who surprised me the most that I didn't even, like, I, it didn't come to me in my ear, like, um, was the, the mother in the movie is voiced by Kate, Kate Blanchett. Blanchett. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah I, I didn't know it was her. Like Gerard Butler has that distinct like accent and stuff, so you can tell. Yeah. Him, but, but not her. But with regards really. to Astrid, his girlfriend, I felt like you know they ended the first movie with them being technically in a relationship, right? Yeah. Were they in a relationship technically? I don't really remember so much about the ending of them, but um, of their relationship. But uh, in this one, I felt like they could have developed it more. Like I feel like right when we, we were gonna see something really good happen, they're just sitting around, just watching what? Just, just watching the other like dinosaurs. They're looking. Basically, he's looking for other places to look for the dragons and stuff. More dragons, so they could come and train. You know, train people to ride them and stuff. They become like dragon riders and stuff. And that's how he finds his mom. Right. His voice by Kate Blanchett. I don't know. I see her name. Valka? Oh, oh, Valka. Valka, yeah. And I hated that they introduced her and basically they had to, in the end, kill the father. Like, why couldn't they just have both of them? I thought it was cute how he was still in love with her after she left. Yeah. To be with the dragons and stuff to raise them. I know. I felt like they didn't have to kill the father in this movie. Yeah, and then I they had both of them to survive and see and their be together. Yeah, because yeah, it was mad interesting. It was cute and it was interesting. Like you know, he was still in love with her and how she still loved them and stuff. And so I felt like she it, felt it, sorry. I felt like that part was a little bit of a tease. Yeah, and and then yeah. they had Toothless kill the dad. <laughs> Toothless <laughs> kills the dad. I mean, come on. Who does that in a movie? I don't like that. I don't like that either. <laughs> Toothless kills the dad. We we'll, we won't give too much away. You gotta see that part. But Toothless kills the dad, of 
course, too, for us feels like crap after when it feels like. And if you guys forgot, Toothless is the dragon. Hiccups yeah. dragon, the black dragon. The, what was it that the blue kind of like dragon? Oh, uh, oh man, I forgot. Right? That's black. I forgot what type of dragon they said in the first black. movie. <laughs> okay, yeah. But yeah, it, I like the relationship between Toothless and and um and Hiccup. Hiccup. Yeah, um, they, that was still really good. That was still they, really good. They, they from the first they, one, yeah. They, got they it. made it. They they grew the relationship more in the second movie. And it was more of a bond, like best friend. I, know. You know, he, I thought it was cute. I love that was that was interesting. I like toothless. So um, yeah, but we're not gonna give everything away. Yeah. I know it's a spoiler review, so sorry, but you know. But we can. But um, yeah, w w certain things. I like the CGI. The CGI was good. The, the landscapes are beautiful. The CGI. Oh the, yeah, especially the flying parts. I love the flying parts. Yeah, the flying parts. Good. And then the oh, ice cave when they like find where they find all the dragons. Oh, that was beautiful. It was like gorgeous. in the yeah. land, the island. Or something? Yeah. That was beautiful. Yeah. Where the mom was at, yeah. And it's like, and they introduce new characters in, in this movie, like new villains technically. And so, I mean, the villains were okay. Like the main guy that I felt like stood out was called Ur. Which is he was like an anti-hero. Oh, the guy that who who kissed. starts off as a villain, yeah. and the one that um, rough nut, the blonde girl who's the twin. Oh, um, I loved her. I don't know why. Oh, she was, like had a little crush on him. Yeah. But if they uh, if they if they developed anybody's character in this movie more so than the hiccup was her character, and they made her stand out a lot in this movie. And I'm just wondering if that's because it was Kristen Wiig's voice. Now that after she found that out, yeah. because they gave her a lot of talking lines, but in the end she didn't end up with the anti-hero guy. Who or any of the two Eric. other guys, or like the group, other two other guys, because what was happening was the the, the, the uh, it was a group of friends. Like so, these I don't know if you can see, but these guys, this guy and this guy were into her, and throughout the whole movie, they were trying to get like to get. They were trying to get to her. They were competing for her, and <laughs> the whole funny. time she was into the the guy, the bad guy who yeah. ends up to be a hero in the bat, and then that. Her, it, her, but she stopped liking him too, and started liking them too for liking yeah. her, and then they didn't end up it, together. It was just funny. It was funny, but I was like, <laughs> why is all this? And then they don't develop her character in the end. They don't give any type of resolution to yeah, her character like except that. the fact that she. Like I said, dragon or something. Yeah, or Astrid at all. Like I said, she's the main girl, the main, the girlfriend, the main lead woman. Girl, yeah, whatever. I, I guess woman because they went to. And it was voiced by America Ferrer, who's Hispanic. Like, come on, shout out to our Hispanic actresses. Yeah. She gave her more to do. Come I on. know. I, was really I love the shocked. first movie. I think the first movie she was, was great. Was, the first movie. That was 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 kind of upsetting about watching this movie because it wasn't. As good, I I didn't expect it to be better than it, but at least to be at least close to it. I thought it was still pretty good, but it just wasn't close enough to it. I don't know. I just love the first one. The first one was such a great movie. Maybe I was just having my um, my. Ex I don't know, but anyways, so the, too high, whatever. Anyways, <laughs> yeah, like the mother, the mother, I felt like. Her story was okay. I don't know. I didn't feel like it was strong enough. Yeah, the sh stories weren't really that strong with the Pe villain right. trying to grab she, all the dragons. She was so taken by a dragon. It's it just weird. She, she was taken by a dragon, and that's and she wanted to protect the dragons and all that. So that's why she stayed. She left her son behind. I mean, I guess for the cause, because there are a lot of people out there who are self-sacrificing. True. But yeah, it it was a pretty good movie. I say go see it. Yeah. There's not a go lot see of it. good summer movies. It's still movies. entertaining with the. It was the definitely entertaining. It was dragon beautiful to look and the at. fights and the and the flying and just hip hiccup and toothless oh, relationship it was adorable. So cute. Toothless is so adorable. I know. I love, I love that toothless. dragon. But anyways, thank you. Oh yeah 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 um yeah so 
Oh, I was gonna give a shout out to my friend Jenea. Oh yeah, shout out Jenea. Shout, shout out Jenea. You know, it's been rough at work, but chin up, chin up. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, yeah. cool, cool, cool. So yeah, and also we're gonna go see that 17 minutes for God. Guardians of the Galaxy. Guardians of the Galaxy. Well, I can't talk. We're such geeks. I mean, come on. We're gonna go stand in line to see 17 minutes. In Brooklyn. Movie. In Brooklyn, where we don't even know what kind, of, where it is at. I still, we haven't looked it up before. I looked poster. it up. We get a free poster for that. Boo. It's a free poster, and it's like a really cool poster. It's like over here. You can't really see it, but anyways. It's, uh, it's it's in 3D and IMAX. It's pretty and, sharp. And the only reason why we're going is just to go see this poster. To get, to get this poster, basically. Exactly. Because it's like a really cool psychedelic yeah. poster. Awesome. So yeah. And we're gonna be reading some um, some comics from Guardians of the Galaxy just to prepare for the movie. Um, we didn't yeah, get which to... comes out in one month, August first. And we're gonna do like this whole like I guess we can research a little bit more and once we yeah, go see it's the connected minutes, to the... give you more information about the movie yeah. so we can hype you up. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways. So thank you for watching. Hey. We're gonna try to do more reviews. It's been busy, so sorry. Oh yeah. But thank you for watching our review. Uh Geekettes chat out. Out. Peace. Take care. Bye. Yeah.